Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're just tuning in because you searched how to cover up a sunglass tan, hi I'm Allie. This video is actually a video part two to a get ready with me tutorial based on this look. Summertime and sunglass tans kind of go together and if you have an event or if you just want to not look like a I don't know, leopard. I decided I was gonna show you how to cover up a sunglass tan very, very easily. You'll probably have the products you need already on hand. It's very easy, very simple. And I just showed you how to cover it up in this video. If you're interested in seeing the finished, complete look, be sure to hop on over to the full Get Ready With Me. I'll link it at the end of the video to see this completed look. Be sure to comment, subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. So without further ado, let's get onto the video. If you are watching this, from my get ready with me. Hi, thanks for coming on over. And if you're just watching this because you searched up how to cover a sunglass tan, the reason why I look a little bit disarrayed is because I'm filming a get ready with me video. Sunglass tans happen to the best of us. They're just part of summer. And I didn't even think that I would get one because I wasn't outside for that long, but it happens. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure your skin is moisturized. Your skin will have a couple of different colors and that is completely normal, especially during the summertime because everyone, I don't know, like my face has like three different colors on it right now and by the end of it, it will all look uniform and perfect. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is apply a primer and this is the Maybelline Master Prime in number 300. This blurs and helps control your redness and if you're like me, your skin may be a little bit more red than normal and especially if you have been exfoliating or trying to even out your skin tone, it might look a little bit more red than normal. I like this primer all year round, especially if you are a little bit burnt, that will help neutralize the red. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is get some sort of item or product that is darker than your normal skin tone. So as you can see, I'm kind of on the tail end of my sunglass tan, but it's definitely lighter around here. My nose is a little bit darker, I look like Rudolph. I'm gonna be using the Soleil Tan de Chanel, and it is basically just a bronzing sort of mousse. So I apply this before my concealer, just because I wanna neutralize it before. So I'm just swirling my brush in, and then I'm just gonna apply underneath my eyes, and in any other area that is paler than the rest of my face. As you can see, this side is darker than this side. If you are like me and your forehead is a little bit paler than the rest of your face, you also wanna just go ahead and bronze up that area as well. I wouldn't suggest using a darker foundation because you do want it to be lightweight. You don't want it to be heavy. You don't want to have, you know, a darker foundation concealer and then your actual foundation. You want it to almost act as a tint. And there's a couple of different products. I will link them down below. I'm just using this one because that's what I have, but Becca has a bronzing mousse. And you can also even just use this Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation. It is a foundation, but it's a foundation stick and it is a little bit more sheer like I would not use this as a foundation so just to show you guys what I would do I would just swirl my brush around and then just kind of go underneath wherever my skin is a little bit lighter so once you have that completed you can go ahead and continue on with your regular concealer and foundation routine this is just how I like to even out my skin tone once you have finished adding your concealer and your foundation your skin will look completely even and because you've added a darker base underneath your makeup it will look like an even complexion all around so as you can see my face looks all one level thanks to the technique that I showed in this video be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed and I will talk to you soon